how to use Skype on an iPhone running on iOS 7. Over the past few years, the Skype program done by programmers of Estonia has entered daily lives of millions of people. You probably know people who say Skype me instead of phone me and whose long-term relationships depend almost entirely on Skype. There are even Skype love stories shown in contemporary museums. Apart from your computer, Skype can be used on your iPhone and iPad. Here's a comprehensive overview on how to use it on your iPhone and how to deal with the iPhone version of Skype if you did not use it before. By the way, it works exactly the same on your iPad. First of all, get the Skype app. Launch your App Store app and search for Skype. Soon, the search result for the free Skype app will pop up. Tap Free and tap Install to initiate the download. When the app download is over, tap the icon of Skype to launch it. Now you have three options. Sign in to Skype with your Skype credentials, sign in with your Microsoft account, or create a new Skype account. We'll choose to create a new Skype account. After you've read the terms of Skype use, tap I agree to proceed, if that is the case, of course. Now you will be asked to fill in your account details to create a new account. You'll probably want to start with tapping to add a profile picture. The menu offers you a choice between taking a photo with iPhone's camera or choosing the existing picture. That's very nice of you, Skype. We'll choose to choose an existing photo and we're redirected to our albums from where we can choose a nice pic. When you're done with the photo choosing, fill in the other details from your full name to phone number. Last step, choose if you want to get last Skype offers or not and tap create account. Welcome to the world of Skype. Take time to get familiar with short information from Skype developers. Tap done when you're done. Now to test your Skype sound, tap the option of making a free call. Do as the automatic voice assistant suggests and you'll be able to hear your recorded sound. If the sound is faint, you might want to check and adjust your iPhone sound settings, which is also explained in another How Tech tutorial. Pay attention to menu options at the bottom of your screen. People has the list of all your Skype contacts. Right now it's still empty. Recent shows the recent Skype calls and chats you've just had. Call phones allows you to call landline phones if you have additionally purchased credit. And Profile has all your profile information and your Skype account settings. You can tap any field here to change your info like we're doing now. Here, the About Me field is one important field where you can enter your company website, your Facebook account, and your description of you. When you tap Skype credit, it leads you to the credit purchasing option. We'll not use it now. Finally, you can use the Sign Out button to quit using Skype on your phone. To sign back in, use your newly created Skype credentials. OK, we're back. Let's now explore the People menu of Skype. When you tap Lists, you'll be shown different contact lists of yours, including, for instance, blocked folks and those who are online. To add a new contact, you can tap, for instance, Skype contacts and then tap the little plus icon in the upper right corner. There are several ways to search for your contact as you see. We'll choose search Skype directory since we remember well the Skype ID of our friend. Now we type in his Skype ID, he pops up in the search results. Tap the name of the contact and send your friend a contact request. Done! Now we can press the IM button to start chatting with him. Type in your message and tap send. Let's see what he says. Okay, it looks like we need to send him a photo and a video that we promised. Tap return to go back and tap more. Now you can choose between different extra options like SMS and so on. We'll choose send photo and we tap to choose the photo from our albums. Done. Now let's deal with the video. Go back to your conversation menu and tap video message. 
you'll see yourself. The video camera is turned on you. You can record your message now and tap the mail icon to send it. If the video is big, it may take some time. With those people who are not using Skype, we can use the old school calling to landline. In the upper left hand corner, you can choose the country cord from the drop down menu. The code of your country is there by default. You can either dial the number now or tap the little phone book icon from the right upper corner to choose the number from your iPhone's contact list. Tap the green call button to start your conversation. This was a short overview of the main features of the Skype app on iPhone or iPad. Welcome to the communication method of the future. This was a How Tech tutorial. Like us on Facebook, love us forever, or leave us a comment here in the fields below. Thanks for watching.